Hi everyone, my name is Anaga and I'm from the Data Science Discovery staff and today we're going to be doing a problem on data frame data types. So let's go ahead and get started. So here it says a table uh, below shows the output of a classic data set called the uh, Berkeley 90, 1973 grad admissions data set, right? So we want to figure out, you know, like in this data frame, what type of data types are included, right? And we can see here, for example, for integers, those mostly include uh, numbers that you would like, you know, see on the number line, right? So you have examples like zero, one, negative one, and so on. When you have um, decimal values like 0 0.25, that's actually not an integer. Those are called floats instead. Um, so that's not an integer. You know, it can be kind of confusing, but decimal places or decimal values are always floating point numbers. Um, those are usually called floats. And a data frame is basically what you see right over here in, the, in this uh, entire you know, table here, right? That's called a data frame. For example, if this is called maybe our admissions underscore df, right? That's an example of an entire data frame. And a data frame contains essentially rows of um, organized, structured data, right? And that's um, what we use in pandas, right? These are all, we're working with data frames that contain uh, n number of rows, right? With maybe m number of columns, and each certain column can have a different data type, right? So data frame is compiled of rows and columns. You can have any n number of rows and any, let's say, m number of columns with different data types in them. And then finally, we have a string. So a string is anything, is basically a piece of text surrounded by quotes in Python, we use quotes to represent the sent strings. And it can be words like, you know, hello, or if you have, um, for example, in this data set, we have accepted is a string. And then the, it can be also five, if the number five is surrounded in quotes, right, that's a string. And I know we can't see the quotes here, because this is an output right if you wanted to see the data type of the admissions column it will tell you string even though we can't see the quotes here because this is again is a is a printed output all right so let's go ahead and kind of identify what types of data types we're dealing with here right so let's start with integers first so remember integers are these whole numbers again right so we can see here that the year, the entire year column is composed of integers, right? So all this, you know, 1973 um, and I guess other years that may be in the data set, right? Those are all examples of integers. And a data frame, well, this, as we mentioned before, this admissions DF, this um, entire I know this is an output, but essentially this is an output of the admissions data frame. So this is an example of a data frame. We can't say that you know a single column is not an example of a data frame. It's a column that's within the data frame, but the major column itself, that's not a data frame. That's just a column that's included in the entire big data frame. And finally, we have strings right as we mentioned those are um like words basically so all of the um you know the major we have the gender and the admissions over here basically all of these three columns are strings right because these are all words that are included in our data frame now when we look at a single row uh, let's go ahead and look at row I'm not going to use gray since that's the same color. Let's go ahead and look at row one. Well, row one can, this this row that is specified by index one, you can call it 
the second row that is specified by index one, well, that is uh, a row that contains multiple data types, right? The, the rows within a data frame can contain data that is consisting of different data types, right? So for example, the row specified by index one here contains uh, integers, right? That's the year, as well as strings. So we can see that this row has uh, ints, and it has strings. So it has uh, data of different data types. And same with the first row that is specified by index zero, same as row two, and so on. So I hope this makes data types a um, bit more clear. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.